What's up guys, Max Maxrix here, and today um, I'm going to be showing you how the entire electrical system on the box truck works. Now I know this is a little bit of a departure from our normal videos where I take you guys along with me uh, and show you how we build things. Unfortunately, with time constraints on this project, I just I can't do that anymore. And so I just want to make this quick video to show you how we did all of the AC and DC stuff on this box truck. So let's start on the outside. First of all, we have our battery box here. Right now, there's just one battery down here, but um, uh, I'm gonna go next week to Houston uh, to get uh, our full battery bank. But right here, this right here is a double odd zero gauge power and ground wires. Those run up to the bus bar DC distribution node inside. These smaller uh, four gauge wires um, are the output from the solar controller. And what we actually did here was I ran down the truck batteries on accident uh, using the lift and not starting the truck very often. Um, so yesterday the truck was dead. <clears throat> so just today we went from about 30% battery on the truck to just under 70% battery on the charge controller on just solar through a set of jumper cables. So basically it's been charging the truck's batteries um, which is good to know. That means in a day of good sunshine, I can go from basically dead batteries to a truck that will start um, in an emergency situation. Uh, and that's good to know. And, and you know, this is just a standard set of jumper cables. Not really too big of a deal. So this is our shore power. This is a standard 50 amp uh, plug. I have an adapter that brings us down to a 15 amp like Edison style plug, which is mostly what we're gonna need. I'll show you guys um, the rest of the hardware inside but we can hook up to any sort of RV hookup with this and the adapter I have. Uh, so that's, that's good and it's just right over here. Um, real quick while we're still outside, this is, it's a little misaligned right now, but this is our outdoor AC panel for kind of the porch area. Uh, and so this is where the kitchen window is. Um, so this is just right out here and just gives us uh, 120 volts out here if we need it. Sorry, the AC is on. But if we go up into the box truck here, um, the bed's already in, but I'm gonna take you underneath here real quick just to show you what we got down here. So this is our electronics rack. So there, right there you can see the shore power plug coming in. That's the pass through for the battery box. Um, right here, we have a 3000 watt rated 6000 watt peak inverter. Right here we have a converter. This is an 85 amp converter. That's what the uh, shore power comes into. This feeds out DC. This is our DC bus bar distribution. This is a standard battery cutoff switch. Um, and here's some of our wiring. These are our AC wires that will plug into the uh, inverter. When we're ready, this one goes to the air conditioning and the TV plug. This one goes to the fridge and the microwave, and this one goes to the rest of the accessory plugs. Um, so that plugs in basically over here. So you've got these wires which go up to where the winch mount will be. This is just a DC ground bar. Um, it's grounded down here, and these are the grounds for our various uh, things. I'm gonna clean up the wiring some more later on, but since we're not completely done yet, I don't wanna trim stuff down. There's our water pump, you've seen it before, but now it's all hooked up. Let me get out from under there and bring you over here. This is our DC control box. And so what you see here at the bottom, this is an on and off switch, remote switch for the inverter. Uh, it gives you battery level and stuff like that. This is a little PWM um, charge controller. Uh, as you can see, we are pulling in from the sun almost 20 amps right now. Um, steady state, there's nothing on the load. So this has, this goes to the battery and this goes to the load. The load basically runs down to our DC bus bar. The battery I showed you earlier runs all the way down to the battery. Um, and you can see our batteries are at, actually almost at 80%. Um, and we're just cranking it down. This thing gets a little warm, but not too hot. I cut out the backside, so it's got plenty of ventilation. Um, and so, all in all, I'm very happy with this. This was only like 60 or 65 bucks because it's just a basic PWM controller. It's not an MPPT controller, but because we have such a high amperage capacity, um, a PP MPPT controller for that kind of um, 
power would have ran six, seven, eight hundred dollars, and I didn't want to spend that. So, for a tenth of the price, this works just fine. Up here, we have our DC um, switch gear. These are actually breakers, DC breakers. So, if they fire off, they can be reset. Um, that eliminates the need for fuses and having to replace fuses. So, over here, this is actually an old Harley um, ignition switch I built. So if I turn it on that way, it turns on, shows me my active voltage. Um, we have a standard USB plugs right there and a standard 12 volt um, cigarette plug right there in case we need it. And then this is as they're labeled. So H2O just controls the water pump. Bedroom is everything over here. And so you have a controller up there for our multicolor LED strip. You have an LED uh, 12 volt light that has a switch. You have the 12 volt fan up there and that's a uh, like a fantastic fan style fan so it'll blow and suck in multiple speeds. And then over there we have, we're gonna have a 12 volt, um, or I'm sorry, a USB, dual USB plug and a small shelf for electronics. Um, so you can see all of the wiring is run inside the walls. Once the sheeting goes over it, you're not gonna be able to see any of the wiring, but it's still uh, easily accessible and logically run. Um, some people are going to comment, yes, this is 12 gauge speaker wire. Yes, I know that speaker wire is speaker wire, but you know what? It's inexpensive. It has probably like a good two, two and a half millimeter uh, sheath on it. And it's 12 gauge, so it's way overrated for what it needs to do. Honestly, I'm not concerned about it. Um, I know some of the internet heroes will talk shit, but it works um, and when you build your RV you can use whatever wiring you want but I think for this it will work fine and if I've got to fix some things you know five ten years down the road then I'll fix some things five ten years down the road uh, let's see bathroom bathroom takes you over here um, you have a switch right here this is gonna control um, the toilet fan the toilet isn't built yet you have our bathroom vent which isn't in yet and then you have this LED light and this LED light um, that will provide kind of light. There's no uh, multicolor LEDs in the bathroom because I figured if you're tripping and trying to take a shit, you probably don't need all of that. Um, what else we got? Um, if you come over here, this is our fridge mount. It's not quite in the right spot. It needs to be moved over. This is the dedicated plug for the fridge slash microwave. This is a accessory plug, so if anybody wants to plug in their 120 volt stuff, laptops or whatever to charge. Um, this is the kitchen 120 volt accessory. This is our outdoor plug. This is a DC plug. This switch will control um, the outside patio lights. Uh, and there'll also be USB charging here. Um, over here, this is gonna be USB chargers for the top bunk, USB chargers for the bottom bunk slash pullout. This is gonna be a 12 volt uh, piece so we can add more lights to it later. Um, this is gonna be a switch for the rear lighting behind the back wall, as well as charge ports, that's for the light bar. Um, this is for the air conditioning slash uh, television. So the AC is gonna be mounted basically from here to here, but this is the inside area. We have an HDMI cable that's just a male to female extender that runs over here, um, where it'll be convenient to plug in like a fire stick or something like that. Um, the kitchen is wired for a fan, a couple of LED lights. Oh, I didn't turn the kitchen on. And this right here is a carbon monoxide detector slash fire alarm. <clears throat> Let's see, what else is there in terms of wiring? Um, so outdoor, living room, kitchen, uh, you hear the, the carbon monoxide kick on. Uh, bathroom, bedroom, water. And then I, since this has an accessory and an ignition mode, if I turn it here, it doesn't waste power turning on any of these plugs. It only turns on these for us to use. And I did this like this so that, you know, um, that way everything can be turned off while we're in transpo. But at the same time, you know, if I don't need to have, um, if, there's, if it's just me, I don't need to have the living room on or the outdoor lights on. I can basically section off however I want to. Uh, we ran most of the wiring through the ceiling, uh, as you can see. Uh, and it's mostly just zip tied in place where it needs to be. And once everything is paneled and insulated, it'll all get closed up. These guys right here are for our multicolor LEDs. Um, and they're gonna run basically in strips down here. They're five meter strips. Um, and they each have a remote dongle so we can turn them on and off uh, individually. 
And I think that's pretty much it for all of the wiring. I know that's a quick video, um, probably under 10 minutes, but uh, this is taking a couple of days to do. This is just real quick, our sub ceiling uh, to keep water and grip from the door off. That's just masonite. <clears throat> but yeah, things are, are moving right along. Um, there is a bunch of film that I've shot and I'm gonna, I need to edit it and make it into videos. And a lot more of those videos are coming uh, in November when we're all done with this and a bunch of other things in my life going on that I'm done with. Uh, so we can kind of move on to something, uh, to getting more film done. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. This thing's called The Base Box, hashtag The Base Box. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Search hashtag The Base Box or MaxWorks. Um, and that'll keep you up to date. As always, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.